Hi everyone, my name is John Nguyen Tran and I'm a solution engineer working for Oracle in Western Virginia. Um, today I'm going to talk about the interconnect architecture design between Oracle OCI and Microsoft Azure. Um, so here's the architecture um, that we're going to uh, demo today. On the left hand side is the Azure virtual network um, and it's connecting to, all this, to the OCI virtual network on the right side. Um, both of them are um, placed on the U.S. East region, which is uh, Washington, D.C., U.S. Ashburn. Uh, as you can see, between them, there's a spread route connect um, to the fast connect on the right side. And we'll, we'll, we will create a two VM to test if they can ping each other. All right, let's get started. Okay, um, so I already created a virtual network. So this is the VNet. I created earlier um, with the CIDR of 10.6.0.0 CIDR 16. Um, so after created VNet, I will create a virtual network gateway. A virtual network gateway um, is acting as a um, gateway to connect. Um, as a gateway to connect to the VCN on the OCI side. Um, you need this um, created and attached to the VNet right here. So after I create a virtual network gateway. Um, I will show you the name of the gateway is called Arja OCI VNet Gateway US East and I will attach it to the, the OCI Arja Dresden VA dot, uh, VNet as you can see it's already attached and the next step I will create a spread route circuit the spread route circuit is the fast connect equivalent to the fast connect on the OCI side once you create it, um, it will show um, the configuration for the OCI side, such as the service key. You need the service key uh, to in order to connect to, to the fast connect on the OCI. So let's go to the, um, and then the next step, I will create a virtual machine, a small virtual machine from the US East. So the public IP address of the virtual machine is 1382.189.96 with the private IP address is 10.6.0.4. Um, now we will to we will go to the OCI um, to create um, the virtual cloud network. Um, so in the compartment, I select the compartment um, I created earlier. It's called OCI IDC at Microsoft Azure, and uh, just create a networking quick store. Um, I will do the first option with VCN with the internet connectivity and once I'm done with it um, I will sh um, make sure that it has the private subnet the public subnet um, and the, also the CIDR is 10.0.0 CIDR 16 and make sure that it's not overlap with the uh, CIDR on the other side it must be different um, let's go to the dynamic routing we wait so if, as you remember, um, when create a VNet on the other side, you would create a virtual a virtual um, network gateway. As similarly, on the OCI side, you would create a dynamic routing gateway. Um, so I already created that. And as you can see, it's already attached to the virtual cloud network uh, called OCI Azure VCN. And after I attach it to uh, attach uh, the dynamic routing gateway to the VCN. I'll go ahead and create a fast connect connection. So if you click on here, networking and fast connect, you will create a fast connect from here. And with the fast connect creation, it will take up roughly about 15 to 20 minutes um, to provision the, the complete tunnel. Um, let's click on here. You, um, the step to create a fast connect is very sim very simple. Uh, we use a use Oracle provider, and we're going to search for uh, Microsoft Spread Route, and we hit Next. So you can put the name or information in here. Um, select a dynamic routing gateway. Uh, the bandwidth you can either choose one, two, five, or ten gigabytes per second. And the provider key is when you have the service key over here. You copy this and and put it in here. Oops. Alright, so um, as well as you have to put the primary BGB IP address 
uh, and the Oracle primary BCP IP address as well. So once it's done, um, you can go wait for roughly about 15 to 20 minutes for the tunnel to be provisioned and uh, it's going to be up. Uh, up um, it will show the status on the provider status as a provision on Microsoft side first and uh, it will show the up um, and provision on the OCI side later. And um, after it's finished, um, you need to make sure that the security rules is um, the security rule is um, allow the traffic from Azure to OCI and vice versa. Um, the VM I created um, on OCI side is um, using the public IP address. Let's check it out. So this VM is on the US East region. It's an Ashburn region. And it has a public IP address of 150.136.6195. And um, let's go to the public subnet over here. For the public subnet, um, I will click on here to check the security list. The security list will um, have the rule, the ingress rule, to allow the 10.0.0 .0 .0 decided 16, um, as well as uh, over here, uh, allow all protocol from Azure. So uh, let's go to the route table. Make sure the route table is allowed the traffic uh, from the Azure side uh, to get into the VCN side. I put the uh, 10.6.0.0 side 16 as a dynamic routing gateway. So um, on the Azure side, you would do the same thing with the network security list. So let's open the new tab. And on here, we'll search for a network security list. Uh, network security group, I mean. And um, let's look for the network security group that attached to the VM that we created. So basically, on the uh, network security um, group, you would allow the all um, port, uh, I would say, all um, port from um, the source is 10.6.0 to the side of 16 to the destination of the VCN uh, side of the block. And net. So you would associate a subnet that um, attached to the VM on the other side over here. So as you can see, you already attach it uh, with, the side, uh, with the address ring is 10.6.0 to the side of 24. Uh, it's using the OCI also address in Virginia VNet. And we'll move to the route table. So I will um, also add the uh, route for the OCI or the US East uh, with the side block of the VCN on OCI. Um, switch into the 150.136.6.195 is on the OCI uh, VM. And as well as a uh, we'll enter into the Azure instance is 13.82.189.96 using public IP address. And let's see what's the local IP address of this one. Of this VM is 10.6.0.4. We're going to also look for the, the private IP address of this VM is 10.0.0.2. Now let's ping the private IP address from here. Voila, it's pingable. And um, we'll also ping the private IP address from Azure uh, to OCI. And it's communicating. All right, thank you for watching.